Hello, my name is Susan Crampton. I'm a retired priest from the Diocese of Western Massachusetts. When my husband and I moved to Cleveland six years ago, we discovered a wonderful spiritual home in Trinity Cathedral. Today, Dean Owens has invited me to share a brief meditation with you for the third week in Advent. This week begins with the lighting of the pink or the rose candle on the Advent wreath. The rose color suggests a lightening up or a lifting of the mood of Advent. Growing up in the Episcopal Church, we often called this Sunday Stir Up Sunday, based on the opening lines of the collect appointed for that day. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. If ever there was a time we need stirring up, it's now. As we prepare to celebrate the joyful birth of our Savior, we are daily reminded of the effects of the pandemic. Historic suffering and death, food and shelter insecurity, exhaustion of medical personnel, and separation from those we love. We must face a pared down COVID Christmas without the usual gatherings and festivities. Those things that help to make the celebration bright. And yet, perhaps, in facing the challenge of the paring down, we will discover the true depth and meaning of the season. What needs to be stirred up in you this Advent? Our colleague says that we are sorely hindered by our sins. Our sins are those fears and foibles that keep us from receiving the love and hope God desires for us. God comes in particular ways precisely tailored to each one of us. Perhaps our relative lack of busyness during this COVID Christmas will give us more time to ponder and pray for God's bountiful grace and mercy to help and deliver us from our deepest fears and bring us new hope and yes, even joy. Prayer is the way forward. When you pray, you open yourself to the power that has revealed itself as love. In and through this prayer, you have a center for your life, a touchstone, so that everything you hear can be tested against the source. True prayer takes humility and courage. Not my will, but thine be done. Prayer means being ready to let go of our certainty and move on from where we are now, trusting that God's grace and mercy will speedily help and deliver us. Advent is not merely a season to wait out the days until Christmas. Much less is it simply a reenactment of a sweet story of ancient hope fulfilled. Rather, it's a time to seek divine power, to overcome our fears and stir up our hope, not only for ourselves, but for this whole weary world. And what is Advent without a good story? Here's one of my favorites. A young man once dreamed that he held an, held an unlit candle in his hand. Nearby, he saw Jesus holding a glowing candelabra. The young man moved forward and Jesus lit his candle with his own. 
Then the young man moved off into the darkness with his newly lit candle, eager to share his new light. But his own breath blew out the flame. Frightened, the young man turned back to see Jesus still standing there holding the light. He returned and hesitantly held out his candle a second time. The Christ did not blame or punish, but relit the young man's candle. Again, the young man started out, and again, he blew out his flame with the force of his own breath. Each time, he looked back expecting some reproach, but no reproach came. The master simply relit his extinguished cancel, candle once more, and he started out. This pattern was repeated and repeated, but the young man noticed one thing. Every time he stepped out, he went farther before he lost his flame. With a lighter heart, he then returned time and again to the source and then started into the darkness. As you light the rose candle this week, may your heart be stirred to receive new hope and courage to boldly carry forward the light of Christ in you. Amen.